Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be designing the reflex. And this tutorial is basically to help us revise our revolving boss and base. Yeah, revolving boss and base. I know it's kind of kind of complex, so that's why I'm going to do this tutorial to kind of understand it somehow. So this, this is the feature we are going to draw. And you see when you cut the feature into half. When you cut it into half, you will see something like this here. When you cut it into half, so this is what you see. So this is what we are going to draw. Obviously, if you draw this and you revolve, you'll get this shape. You get this shape, which is the river. So let's let's try and draw this shape that we, we have here. So you can pause this video and take a snapshot. And take a snapshot of this. Take a snapshot of this part with all the dimensions. So the dimension so that when I start the video you can also move along okay so let's let's start our design so the the unit you are going to use will be in inches so make sure your unit is in inches and as usual let's go and select our front plane and make it normal too then after that we we'll start our sketch so let's draw a, a center line so draw a center line and then you escape and you're now going to select your line too and then so we are just basically trying to sketch uh, the diagram that you guys have taken your snapshot of so you can just follow along and try to sketch that okay so up yes If you reach here, you cannot use your line tool to draw the arc, so you have to escape and go and select your line tool again. Draw a line from the center to let's say this point, and escape. So let's let's give dimension to this line. So the dimension of this is 0 0.016, so 0 0.0166. Not a comma point zero point two five six. Okay, and you have this, and the dimension of this one is zero point one zero point one thirty six. You have this. The dimension of this line is zero point zero point zero eight two. Okay, the dimension of this line to us will give me. So we can dimension this to be 0 0.05. So 0.05. We have that. The dimension from this point to this line has been given in the question to be 0 0.32 to 0 0.32. Oh, we should have something like this for now. So now let's go ahead and draw our two. Ax. Ax. So select so you select your arc tool. This this tool is what you use to draw an arc. So you select it and then you select any points on this line. You can select it outside the line. Doesn't matter. Just select any points around here. So I want to select it around this line, but not if you want to select it around this line, you should not select it at the center here, okay? You should select it somewhere above it. Let's say a bit. So select a bit here. Let's select it here and then we're going to select the point here and then we'll draw our arc to this point if you reach there you stop then we can give we not give dimension so let's 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 do some uh relations so you select this point then you select your control key then you select this point then you give you make it what coincide if you cannot see it here you can come to this property section and you see what's inside so you have it make it like this very beautiful now let's give it a dimension a dimension of the arc so the dimension of the arc selected the midpoint okay so the dimension of this arc is supposed to be at 0 point 0 0.15 0 0.15 
Okay. Okay, she has something like this. Then let's draw the second arc. So the second arc. You're going to select your arc tool again. Then select any point around here. So select any point around here. Then select your midpoint. And draw your, draw your arc to somewhere here. My arc went backwards. So let me do that again. So I want to select my arc to select any point here. Select this and draw to this point. Okay, don't come to here, just draw to here. Yeah, so you should have that and check. So let's give let's let's make these two points inside so you can use your zoom to zoom this part a little bit. Then click on this point, press your control key and click on this second point and make them what coincide. Yeah, like that. You should have some. So then you give it a dimension. So the dimension of the so picture dimension, the dimension from of this arc from here is what? 0 0.14. So 0 0.14. Okay, so you have this world defined shape. So let's continue and give our dimension and some relations. Okay. So from, from the diagram, you see that this side, this side, this side, and this side are kind of equal. This side and this side are equal. So you select them and make them equal. Then we'll give dimension. So the dimension of this side, the line here and the other line here, was what? 0 0.085. Okay, then the dimension of this line and this line, dimension of this line and this line was 0 0.1, kind of giving me an error here. So let me go back. Let me go back and select, let me select this, let me put my dimension, select this line, this line give it their dimension so this is supposed to be 0 0.0 0 0.1 0 0.0 0 0.125 okay and this one two and this is supposed to be 0 0.085 yeah so you should have something like this and then the distance from from the midpoint here to this line was given to be was given to be 0 0.12 so 0 0.2 so we're given that and our feature is fully defined so you have something like this yeah, that's basically what you guys took a picture of. This is what you are drawing. You should have this. Then let's let's go ahead and go to your features. Go to revolve what? Revolve boss and base. And then you'll be revolving around the center line. So you should have something like this. Then click on OK. Yeah, so you should have have this revert line so drawn like this. So and then according to the revert, they've given some. So let's sell uh, this surface and make it normal. So they're giving some fillets. So let's use this. Since this is a feature, we are not going to use the, the fillet at the hot, the two, the, the scale session. Let's go to use the fillet at the hot, at the feature part. So you click on your fillet. And then you'll be giving fillet to this side and then this side too. So you can you can remove your face from here. So let's delete the face. So we give you fillet to on this side. And the size, the fillet is supposed to be 0 0.02. So you come here and then you type your 0 0.02. Then enter. So this is your fillet. So you should have this. So when you zoom, then so, so this is basically what our fillet will look like based on the dimension and everything they've given to us. Thank you for watching. I hope you've, you've revised 
and learn something new. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.